The end of each month, I go over in full transparency how well or how bad my automated trading systems are performing. In today's video, we're gonna be going over February 2023, and I'm gonna show you how much I made or how much I lost in that month. Let's get started. All right, so February 2023 was a red month, quite a massive red month down, in fact. Uh, so we're down $27,045.49. That's about, about a 33, 34% drop of my overall account value. Uh, we're still up year to date, but it was a tough month to trade. Not a lot of volatility, especially in the future indexes market, and a lot of just sideways movement on intraday basis. You know, market not really knowing what it wants to do. A lot of the Fed Powell announcements, CPI announcements cause just a lot of choppy movement, choppy intraday movement, and this choppy movement has killed my strategies. They don't do too well during these choppy days. March, so far I've fixed that. We'll see if it continues. But for February, it was it was tough, and um, yeah, we, we took a loss. So down for the month, we had a 40% win rate on each trade. The average trade we took lost $61. Largest winning trade was 11,000. Largest losing trade was 5,000. We averaged 22 trades per day. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else to talk about. Let's look at the equity curve. So you can see we were, at the beginning of February, we were doing good. We had a lot of continued movement. And there was one day... Um, I got a little bit lucky where I overrided the the strategies and I sold my positions. That was during, it was a, it was a Fed Palo day. I don't think it was an even uh, an FOMC announcement, but I think he was talking that day and I decided to close my positions because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen. It worked out a lot. I ended up closing for a green. If I held my positions past that news event, we would have lost. That would have been a massive down day actually. So that was luck, that was gambling that day. But more often than not, I am not overriding my strategies. That happened once this month. And year to date, I've only done it once. So yeah, we can see at one point we're up 44,000 and we ended the month down. Yeah, some massive swings today. It was very tough, very hard for me, very frustrating. Uh, you know, feeling like I wanted to give up and why am I doing this type of thing? And at the end of the day, it's just one month. It's one month, right guys? It's, it's one month of trading and I'm, I'm positive I'll bounce back. Hopefully in March, that would be ideal. But, you know, with all the analysis I've done in my portfolio and, and, you know, January was an awesome month. We're still up year to date. So that's fine. That's great. But uh, just got to stick with it, you know, and you're going to have these bad months. And yeah, I, a lot of my systems are momentum based and they will only do well if they trend in one direction up or, or down. If they start trending down and then reverse up in the day, a lot of the systems get stopped out. And if they trend up and they reverse down later in the day, a lot of them get stopped out. And that's what happened a lot in February. We had a lot of, a, a lot of, not much movement. So I'll pull up the daily chart here for uh, S&P 500 index futures. We'll just do daily bars. Right. Oh my. Yeah, this is all the trades I made for that month. Uh, let's see if we can hide that somehow. Oh, how do I do this? I might have to attach a strategy to it. I think that causes the trades to go away. So let's just attach a strategy here. There we go. All right, so if we look for the month month of February, which is about here, we can see, although we did trend to the downside, a lot of these days we had massive wicks, right? Massive reversals where we thought it was trending down and they would just reverse up and close on the upside. And days like these two are nasty. You know, my systems do not do well on these days. They'll, they'll stop out or maybe they'll be flat, but we just didn't get a lot of movement in one direction. Obviously, if you look at it, at the beginning of February, I did really well. Um, and it was probably these green days too. I think these are one of the days that Pal talked and I sold. But days like this where we get like, you know, 100 points of movement in one direction, we do great. 
And we have these days where you have massive wicks, massive reversals, my systems don't do too well. And I fixed that for March. That was a, a, a learning lesson. But um, yeah, these, these wick days, especially look at, look at the end, like every day had a wick on it. Just, it thought it was trending in one direction. No, it reversed. And that's just the market not, you know, you know, market not knowing what it wants to do. Obviously there's, there's sort of like a higher percentage of traders or funds that want to reverse the trade or they think that the current betters are wrong. I don't know what it is, but just was not a good month, not good marketing conditions for my strategies and that's fine, right? You know, we'll bounce back in March and you know, just gotta be consistent with it and adapt to the market. It is what it is. This is, you know, I'm not gonna win every month and I don't expect to. And this is just one of the months that we didn't win. So anyways, that's February, 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found value in it. Let me know in the comments below if you did, if you enjoyed these monthly performance videos. I show all my trades with real money, real cash, if I made money or lose money on a monthly basis to you know give you guys perspective of what it's like to actually algo trade um, for a semi full-time living. So that's the video and we'll see you next week. Bye guys.